How you going everyone? Josh the Collector Guy here. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're able to get out and about during the week on the weekend, find some awesome cars. Hope you had an awesome week as well, everyone. Hope you found some good stuff for your collection. Well, this is my big lot of finds this week, ladies and gentlemen. Got some 90s cars here from the flea market and a couple other assorted ones as well. Good to go to the flea market and find some really cool cars, what reminds you of... Back in the day when you are a kid, I'll get to them a little bit later in the vid. It's an absolute Chev Fest of finds this week. Got everything is pretty much Chevy related. Got a very awesome Japanese red box here off eBay. Very cool. Glad to get the black wall variation of the lowdown. Share that with you just at the end of the vid. But first up, I'll start off with my diecast meat finds. Now the diecast meat I usually go to, it's usually... Go one month, miss a month. Go one month. But this this time it was go one month, two, miss two months. So had some withdrawal symptoms from not going, but it was good to go. Go there this time after a two-month break. And it was certainly well worth the wait as well. Found lots of cool cars. Caught up with lots of awesome mates as well. Always talking die cast. Telling each other what we found, what we missed out on. But sharing the passion for the hobby as well it's always good to see those guys again talk about what stuff you have in your collection talk big cars and little cars as well like the little guys here which is pretty cool but what should i start off with i'll start off with this these cases just here found them at the diecast meet this one was pretty cheap the old matchbox one obviously it had a clear plastic cover over there and you could put your probably your favorite car there but i think it might have been I could be wrong, I know I've seen this on the back of some of the Matchbox packets I have, but anyway, I'll have a look later on probably. Very cool, glad to have that. Always good to find more cases to store your die cast in, because you always run out of room. Oh, who put my Camaros there? Very cool Made in UK one, that's why I got my USA one just here, see Made in the USA, and then the funny thing is this one's had it blocked out and... Made in UK, never seen that before. I only discovered that when I got home and had a look at the other two, had a look at the other case comparing the two. So I think that's pretty cool. I locked it up, of course. Twelve, I think it's a twelve car case. Yeah, I should have researched. Yeah, twelve car case, which is pretty cool. As I said, you can't can't go wrong with the old carry cases and that. Got the old sticker still there, which is pretty cool. So I was glad to get them at the die cast meet. I reckon I got the red line one for a pretty good pretty good price. And this is my one in my collection. Look at all the cars in there. Got them all protected in the plastic and everything. So you can't go wrong with the old carry cases, that's for sure. Great additions to the collection. Now we get to the mighty Copo Camaros. Absolutely love these two. I really love how they've done the old and the new. I absolutely love it. And I... If I find another one of the white ones, I've got a pretty good custom plan. Well, I've already got the newer version done. Just need to find this one and do the wheel swap on it. Very cool. The old 68 and the more modern 2013 Copo. The, and they're USA carded too, which is far more cooler than the just the basic international one. Got the old where she was born, the birthplace, the designer, of course, Mighty General Motors. And a little bit of information about it. I didn't know they were 69 produced. Now, I don't think they're pretty. I don't think they're cheap either. The new Copos got the old LSX engine, another one of the awesome General Motors engines they produce, which is pretty much in every single Chevy or whatever these days. Very cool indeed. Glad to get get some American carded ones, and also glad to get this one. This one was on my wanted list for a long time now. Now we get to some of the loose ones, the old turbo wedge here, the old high raker, unfortunately missing a spoiler. Yes, I found another one of these by Waymans, I can't believe it, I seem to find these everywhere. Absolutely love this truck, I know she's a bit beaten up in that, but she's got character, I couldn't resist, and she was, she, the guy was pretty much giving it, giving it away, it was that cheap, so, very tough as looking Chev truck, she looks like, Got a bit of patina on her, and that looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, the lights were snapped off off the top, but that doesn't really matter. I'll put her away. Very cool indeed. Love the old real riders. 
got um, hair splitter here. I don't think I've seen it in yellow before, but obviously this one's had a pretty bad accident. Missing the bonnet and the roof rack th thing with the wheel on it. I think there's a spider web in there too, which is pretty weird. The old tampo's gone, but haven't seen the yellow one before. That that was pretty cool. Got the old Mercedes Benz here. Very cool. I love that glittery paint job. Absolutely love it. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I've got the pink. I think this was in a pink. But anyway, I remember a glitter, glittery one from when I was ki a kid in pink. It was so cool. And the paint's pretty thick on it too. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I can focus. But it looks as thick as a... As a note, as a five dollar note over here in Australia, I'm not sure if the notes everywhere else are pretty much the same, but it's pretty thick. Very cool though. Don't mind the old Mercedes as well. Love them wheels as well. Now there's a reason my Camaros are on the floor because I had to get this guy out to compare it to this guy. I got him yesterday at the diecast meet. As you can see, got the old '90s base on it, which is pretty cool. And I thought I'll have a look at. Well, I didn't actually know I had one already, but I thought, hope it's a variation. What do you know it is? How cool is that? Just put it on the roof. Who puts a Camaro on the roof? On their roof. Very cool. Glad to have two different variations of it now, which is always cool. Everyone knows I love my variations. I'm sure everyone else loves variations as well. So, very cool to have. You know I love my Camaros to bits anyway. Now we get to the old Tamika here. Haven't found a Tamika for quite a while. And of course, it's the C word again. Camaro. Absolutely love this one. I reckon they did a not too bad job on her either. And funnily enough, this one's made in Vietnam. I think that's quite unusual as well. Got the old opening doors and that. I love how it comes in the little box here. Very cool. Got the old mighty Chevy on the front there as well. Toys R Us. I don't think you can get them over here at Toys R Us. Do some pretty good models, the old Tamika. They do some really good detailing as well in the cars. Very cool. Here we get to the this this one, the old Holden Racing Team car, old Craig Lowndes. Actually, fun, funny little story about this one. Dad loves collecting. Well, Dad and I love collecting the Craig Lowndes cars. Dad's got a massive collection of them. He's like me with my Dale Earnhardt cars. I can't get enough of them. Dad thought, oh yeah, don't have this one. I even said as well, yep, don't think you've got that one. Comes home, discovered he ha has it. And he goes, oh, you can have it. And I, sh and I said, you sure? You don't want me to pay? And he goes, oh, no, nah, you just have it. And he gave me this one as well because he got the boxed version as as well just, just yesterday. So that's very cool. That was nice of Dad. Thank you very much for that. Very cool. Love the old Lounsey as well. Probably my favourite V8 supercar driver over here in Australia. And in my opinion, one of the greatest as well. He's a really nice guy as well. I really like him. Probably like the Dale Jr. of the V8s in my my opinion. He's just such a nice guy. Now we get to two of the gems I found at the diecast meet. Got the old stock rocket here. The old Buick stock car. Looks like she had a bit of a race before she ended up in the blister pack. You can see some old rubbing there. Very cool. Absolutely love this car. Very hard to find as well. Old racing stocker on the base. Very cool. Love the old NASCAR stuff. Have a look on the back. The old Mustang there. Old Chevy bait. Just kidding. Very nice car. Absolutely love it. Glad to have it in the collection now. One of those harder to find vehicles. Same with old Beach Patrol here. Like this truck's pretty hard to find as it is. Loose, let alone finding one card and got it off my man, mate, for a really good price. The old Ford stake bed truck, very nice casting as well. Glad to get that. My first one as well with the surfboards in the back. I know all my loose ones don't have the surfboards. That's very cool. Glad to add them to the collection. Hopefully I can put them somewhere on my vintage Hot Wheels General Motors shelf or even somewhere around it. Got the old California Custom. Love love this series as well from the 90s. Finally got a carded Camaro one now in the old Real Riders. Very tough looking as always, the Camaros. Very nice indeed. Love the old card art on the back. Love that shot of all the cars. Very nice Camaro. And I got the one with the turbo wheels, loose. I've already got this. I just got it out to compare it. I got this a couple of swap meets ago as you probably have seen from all the all your regular 
people who tune in each and every week would probably know what I'm talking about, but just thought I'd get it out and, and compare the two. These wheels aren't too bad either. So glad to get a carded version of the Camaro. Always glad to add some new stuff to the collection. Very cool indeed. What an absolute bargain, two bucks. And I think that brings us to the end to the diecast meat finds. Now we'll quickly get to the flea market finds. Got the old blue cat, well, not blue card, sorry, I misspoke. Camaro convertible in red, really nice 90s Camaro. Tough looking Corvette Stingray, absolutely love that. That feels like it's all metal too. And old, another Chevy Stocker, love that one as well. The old Hurricane. Then more Chevys as well. As I said, it's an absolute Chev fest in the vid today. The old custom Corvette, one of my favourite Corvettes, Hot Wheels produced. The old blown Camaro. No engine out of the bonnet though. Don't think I've got this carded. And one I've been tracking down for quite a while now. The old 93 Camaro and this fluoro green. I love the old 93 Camaro as well. So I got them for, I reckon, for a pretty good price. I reckon the guy looked after me, and this one was pretty cheap as well. The old 96 Camaro as a drag car. Very tough looking indeed. 19,998, I think that says. So sort of limited, not really, but I still think it's pretty cool. Love, the, love these old 90s Camaros. And the old loose cars I picked up as well, the old Chevy van. Don't have the grey version, haven't seen the grey version, thought I might as well get it. And the old little Omni here, I thought that was pretty cool. I know there's an Italian version, what pretty much has the same sort of features as this one does, but I don't think this one is it. I know the guy I did buy it off, I think he was Greek or Italian. Or his wife was anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool. Looks like it's from a junkyard or whatever, looked pretty good in a little... um. Like a little, I always stuff this up, you know what I mean, like on a train set or whatever, like one of the cars in the junkyard or whatever. Very cool indeed. She's had a pretty tough life I reckon, but she's safe in my hands now. Now we get to the, probably one of the greatest cars I have in my collection. Well, that's, I think all the cars I have are great, but one of my favourites, the old Japanese red box lowdown in the black wall variation. Very cool indeed, and the old Japanese red box is quite hard to find in my opinion. Haven't seen too many. The only ones I've pretty much seen are off the seller who I bought this off off eBay straight from Japan. Very cool indeed, and I'll just take you over to the other side of the room, what you only just saw last week, where you can see the other one, where what I have. She's just tucked in there, so I'll be putting her in a little protective box and then putting her right next to her, keep her company. So that's really cool. Glad I got the two variations. And there's a closer shot of my General Motors Vinny Chop wheel, wheel shelf. Got a couple of rare ones on there, but I'm sure I'll share a lot of that with you in the not, in the not too distant future. I'll do a separate vid for that. But that brings us to the end of the vid this week, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this closer up. Look at my Hot Wheels and that, what I absolutely love to bits. I know when I go to bed each each night, I always look over at my cars and always brings a smile to my face and always look up the shelf here and have a look at my Earnhardt cars as well. So, hope you enjoyed the vid this week, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Always appreciate the su subscribers tuning in each and every week. Thank you very much, guys and girls. Always feel free to leave a comment everyone. I really do appreciate your comments. Always love talking Hot Wheels, real cars or whatever with all you guys and girls out there. I absolutely love it. Have a good week everyone and remember as always, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later everyone. Have an awesome week.